Thank you for joining us on uh, Dice Got the Answers to Your Question. I'm here with Gail Chapman, who was Princess Keyboardist from 1978 to 1980. I want to give Gail the chance to say her story in her own words. So what I'm going to do is start off with a phrase and have Gail finish it with, with whatever comes to mind first. <laughs> How are you doing today, Gail? I'm doing great. Thank you very much. Music makes me. Music makes me either want to shut it off, or dance, or go write something better. Prince and I. Prince and I um, got along fine, didn't we? <laughs> the Rebels album. Rebels album never came out as far as I know, but it's been bootlegged many, many times. <laughs> the music business. What music business? <laughs> <laughs> the music business, uh, the music business really doesn't have anything to do with me um, unless I put something out there and make it my business, and occasionally I do that. My biggest musical influence. My biggest musical influence, uh, other than Prince, who uh, I en I enjoyed tremendously, loved working with him. Um, Let's see, George Duke, McCoy Tyner, um, Ron Hubbard, Ten Wheel Drive, Janis Joplin, uh, The Band, uh, Chris Whitley, rest in peace, and um, probably a few others. There's a few that have, I think, uh, Ella Fitzgerald. I really love her. My mother says I sound like Joe Stafford. <laughs> I've never heard Joe Stafford, but <laughs> I take her word for it. She was a symphonic cellist. Stars can be annoying. <laughs> <clears throat> Pop stars, I don't, um, I can't relate. <laughs> <laughs> Musicians are? Musicians are a lovable, crazy, insane, uh, Wonderfully real, open, uh, devil may care, <laughs> sometimes stupidly insane, a uh, bunch of people. Rick James. Rick James. Rick James, let's see, had a really groovy tool, a tour bus tool. <laughs> <laughs> Cut that. <laughs> I never saw his tool. <laughs> He's not rolling over in his grave either. He's going, what? <laughs> what the hell? Where was I? Was I stoned? <laughs> but anyway, no, he had a really neat tour bus and, and uh, he found it fascinating that I didn't know more about him. <laughs> and um, went to great lengths to show me his album, new album covers that he was coming out with. And I was commenting with plenty of oohs and ahs going, wow, ooh, really nice. I like that. <laughs> I left Prince's band because... <laughs> I knew it. I just knew it. <clears throat> I had to ask. <laughs> hey, it's okay. Um, I left Prince's band. Now this may come as a shock to a lot of you out there who have read those books. I left because I needed to grow. And I was an employee in somebody's band doing a job, trading my time for money. Didn't matter, didn't matter who it was. I think at that time, I would have, wouldn't have matter who it was. I, if I wasn't growing the way I needed to, I would have left. And that's what I did. <laughs> oh 
about to the misconception that you left the oh, band. It, it was yeah. only because of religious reasons. Yeah, and and, and the, another another sticking point mm -hmm. uh, with with that I think is the dirty mind. Yeah. I left because I didn't want to sing the song Head, mm -hmm. and I really didn't. Okay. Okay. I mean, and it wasn't because of religious reasons. I remember somebody asking me that and really being obnoxious in how they asked. I said, well, let me ask you this. Do you have any kids? Yeah. I said, <laughs> if your kids started singing soft and wet and they're five years old with a beatbox up against their head, what do you think about that? You know, yeah. uh, here you are. Uh, here I am having to sing a song about giving head, and I wasn't even having sex. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> See, I don't think many people knew that. You alluded to it a little bit, but uh, do, you, do you sometimes wish that maybe you had have been around when the band started getting really successful? Um, yeah, I would have. I would have adored it. Yeah. I would have had great fun. But I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I left. And one of the last things Prince ever said to me was, um, if you ever need my help, you just call. <laughs> Did you call? <laughs> Do no? you know how to get a hold of him? No, you're asking the wrong person. I have yeah, no see, clue. I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> when you find out, you let me know. Okay. Could I? Of course I can. <laughs> Should I? Why not? <laughs> God is real. Integrity means saying what you mean and meaning what you say. I always knew. Oh, wow. I always knew that at some point I would come out of the profound mistakes with profound wisdom. <laughs> I've never tried. I've never tried to um, be something I'm not. I've worked with? I've worked with my hands. <laughs> <laughs> As a guitar player and a piano player for many years, and a gardener, uh, I what was the question? <laughs> my father. A part of my life that's still a mystery. He died uh, a long time ago. I don't even remember when, which is sad to say, but we weren't close for many, many years. My mother. My mother is a sweetheart. My mother is has a backbone of steel and it's just the sweetest sweetest one at 87 years old she's working on a new internet business <laughs> and developing her skills that way it's unbelievable she uh, she goes and works out at the gym she's great i love my mom we're very close 10 years 10 years from now I'll be a lot older than I am. <laughs> I'll have a lot more wrinkles in my face and look a lot less babelicious than I do now. Okay? Ten years ago, I would trade today for that. I think. In some ways. In other ways, not so much. Well, the funniest story, probably from... Um, from those days was when, and Matt's, Matt says I, I have this all wrong, okay. but I was on my side of the stage and he was on his, and I don't really remember exactly how, how this went down, but I do remember that Prince was doing his striptease, and he took off his stretch pants, stepped out of those, mm -hmm. and down to his skibbies, and then did his little you know, take off the leather jacket so he was wearing nothing but his skibbies and his little black leather boots with the silver stars on the side. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knew this until that particular night. Nobody knew this. That <laughs> Prince would um, put 
toilet paper or something, roll it up, and stick it down his butt cheeks to soak up sweat so the sweat would, <laughs> would be on the outside of his pants when he turned around. <laughs> so he's doing his little move thing, and pretty soon this little white tip comes out from the top of the back of his skivvies. Oh my God. <laughs> And Matt and I are like this, he's way over there, and he's got to be 30 feet away, and I'm, you know, 30 feet away, and Matt and I are like... <laughs> and then I'm looking at Andre going, can you like, can you go get that? <laughs> and, and Andre's, Andre's like not even seeing me, and I don't know if he even sees it, but you know, I figured out later that even if Andre had, he wouldn't have touched it with a 10 foot pole. <laughs> and Des... I don't know what Des was thinking, because I know Des saw it, and it was eventually really hard for even the road crew not to see it. <laughs> so poor Prince, he's left there all alone, and I think somebody eventually cut the lights. Okay, okay. But um, somebody, somebody did something, and I don't remember how, all I remember is being mortified and going, just keep your mind on your work, just keep your mind, just play the damn keyboards, just play. Prince will have to figure this out himself. So, we're in the dressing room later. We're in the dressing room later. And there isn't, we're, there's nobody saying a thing. We're trying not to, we're all kind of <laughs> in the dressing room. And then we hear him coming down the hall on those heels. And we're like, he kicks the door open and comes in. And I can't remember what he said, but he was, he was furious at us, of course. <laughs> Did you steal that locket? Thievery's a specialty of mine. If you like my company, I'll sell you two or three hours of a real good time. Oh, they don't call me. I'm looking forward to